Hi, Debbie Scott here from the Tom Murray Building. Y'all come on out tomorrow to the Junkin Campus Ministry Center Fellowship Hall for our second annual chili cook-off. I will have my awesome chili entered, and then there will be everybody else's. See you then. Hello all, please stop by the chili cook-off tomorrow. I will be making my famous uniquely Texan chili. I mean, how could this chili not win? After all, it aligns with our mission and our learning objectives. So if you guys want to try the best chili that's full of Texan spices and heat, stop on by. I believe my chili is going to be the best chili because it's just going to taste better than everyone else's. Uh, it's the best Mexican chili you've ever had. It's in the title. It's pretty simple. So come on out and try our chili. One. Hi, it's Orlando. Last year I won the chili cook-off and I know Dr. McCormick was very upset. And so this time I've told him to bring it on and he says for me to get ready to rumble. So I encourage everybody to come out. Enter, you didn't enter your chili, but come out and taste and vote for me because my chili is made with love. Thank you. I'm Charlie McCormick. And I'm William Woods. And we are going to be delighted to see you at tomorrow's chili cook-off. Remember, this is always an opportunity of uh, uh, good friends to come together and, and just have a good time. Um, but once again this year, I will be absolutely disgusted to see that there is a, a chili with the name Yankee Chili at this event. <laughs> sir, how could you if, do such if a If you thing? will allow me, sir. Now remember that uh, this is a recipe that was handed down by my ancestors from Hertford, North Carolina. It was, there's a tale that says when the Yankees came to town, the residents of the town made the chili for the Yankees, and it was so good, everybody put their weapons down. And as two-time grand champion winner from Ingram, Texas, and when you want to talk chili, you talk Ingram, Texas, I'm delighted to once again offer Yankee Chili, which may not be as good as the white tofu vegan sample that my colleague here is going to make, but we'll see.